Hi guys, Melvin here from Neuron Digital. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install this admin page of the Sidigaya dev template on your server. Let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't purchased the template yet, go ahead and purchase it from Code Canyon, and you should get all these files here. For this part of the tutorial, we will be just using the server side code and the database SQL code. The first thing that we should do is to create a new SQL database and import this code here into it. So let's go ahead and open up our server and create a new database. Once the SQL database is created, open it up in PHP MyAdmin, click on the database, import and just drag and drop the SQL file here. Click go. And when the SQL file is imported, make sure that you have all these tables here before proceeding. So the next step is to enter all the database details into the configuration file. Let's open up the server side code and open up configuration.ini. I like to open it in sublime text. And as you can see from this file, we need to enter the database details here. We need to put our host name in here. Make sure you don't leave any spaces in your file because it won't work. When you're done, just save and open up your favorite FTP client. I'll be using FileZilla. Connect to your server and basically just highlight all the files and just drag and drop all the files onto your server. Okay, so when all the files are copied onto your server, just open up Chrome once again and go to the domain that you uploaded the files to. Make sure that you upload the files to either the main domain or to a subdomain because the admin page will not work on a subfolder. If everything was done correctly, you should see an admin login page like this. So the default credentials are admin at gmail.com and the password is P-A-S-S, pass, click login. When you log in into your dashboard, you may notice this error here. And this is because we haven't set up the Google Maps yet. So for the next step, let's go ahead and set up Firebase and the Google API key for the maps. So open up the Firebase console, click Add Project and create your project. From here, we need to go to Settings, make sure you're on Cloud Settings and just copy the server key. And we need to put the server key in the config.ini file once again in the API access key. So paste it in there. When that's done, let's go ahead and create the map access key. So open up Chrome once again and go to this URL here. It's in the documentation as well. And click get a key. Select the project that we created in Firebase and enable API. Okay, we have the key. Just copy it and go to the config.in file once again and paste it there. The final two things that you need to change from this file are the server URL. My new server URL is cityguide tutorial. And put in your Twitter tag in here for sharing. When you're done, you can just save this file, close it and open up FileZilla once again to transfer the config.in file to your server. When that's done, we can open up Chrome once again. And from here, we can go to a new place and make sure that the maps are working. And yes, they're working. So we have made the API key correctly. So let's test the admin page by adding a category. Click on new category. Let's put in restaurant. Select an image and make sure that it's not more than four megabytes. Select an icon and hit save. And as you can see, the category has been created. Now let's create a pin. If you open up the graphics file, you should find a lot of pins here, which you can choose from. So I'm going to choose a random one and upload it and click save changes once again. And the pin has been created. Now let's go to places, create new place, put in a title, a description here, select if it's featured or not, put in a price perhaps, and just choose the place you want it to be. You can select the pin from here. Select an image and once again, make sure that it's smaller than four megabytes and select the category that you want it to be in and click save changes. So as you can see, the admin page is working perfectly. Make sure to see the next tutorial where we'll be going through how to customize the Android app of the CityGuide app template. Mm -hmm.